for that, we're going to hand it over to Michelle. That's right. She can say pants, and I can say trichotillomania. That's right. <laughs> Tomorrow, hundreds will be traveling to Dallas for a worldwide convention conference. Uh, it's also known as trick, and it's the repetitive pulling of your own hair. Many experience this condition during late childhood and into adult life. Joining us today is Neil Cho, and she will be one of the featured speakers this weekend. How are you? I'm doing great. You said it right. I did? You did trichotillomania. It just rolls off my tongue. You did it great. So Thank tell you. us a little bit about your condition. Well, uh, trichotillomania is the, uh, the necessity of pulling your hair out in moments of high anxiety. So that's how I, you know, describe it. You, you know, you pick and choose, and you choose through uh, texture. Different, uh, different textures bring out different roots, which really? is really what you're looking for. It's like this whole system that, you, that, so that you happens behind it. It consumes you. It does. It's, it's very time consuming. And in my case, I pulled it for 27 years. So, I, and then during those 27 years, I think the most that I went without pulling, maybe 10 months. Is and it then, a hereditary condition or? You know, in my case, my grandmother pulled her hair and she pulled it till she passed at 80, some, four years old. So, and I started at nine. Okay. And I really didn't see the connection. I was raised in El Salvador, so it's a lot of taboo, you know, and nobody really knew what that was. So it was treated more like a, like a, you know, like a, like you, like a, like a bad habit. Not, as let's not talk about mental. it. <laughs> and that's why you're here today because you have yes. been such a vocal yes. person yes. speaking out about this. Yes. What, what's the message you like to get across to people? I mean, you, you shaved your head. Yes. Well, for me, it's, it's just, I, I believe that everybody, I know that if we all do something when we're anxiety, you know, anxious or sad or what have you, and, and it's not, it's not as weird. I mean, it sounds really weird, you know, that people pull their hair out, mm -hmm. but there's, we all do different things. To, to, to hide your anxiety, anxiety or just release your anxiety. Uh, for me, it's more important for, to people, for people to know about the condition so that mm -hmm. the ones who have the condition feel less criticized or less Well, there's weird. somebody they can turn to. Sure, Tell exactly. us about the conference this weekend. What is the main goal of this conference? And what will you be speaking about? I will. Um, it, this is uh, the World Conference. Uh, we have about 500 people show up from different parts of the world, so it's really exciting. All ages, uh, little girls, little boys, adults. Um, and we, in my case, I'm going to be speaking uh, about the uh, impact of uh, bald women in society and how important hair is on uh, on you on anybody so it is a big deal hair is a big a pain. deal i know it's also a pain <laughs> a, and you have a great head deal. we talked know, about I that you're lucky. Like, nice I shaved lucky. head so. i got lucky you know so you you just shaved it to alleviate the I problem did. i did i shaved it to alleviate and to just get rid of whatever was left in my hair because i i had really had just this part of my hair left and you know at the beginning i, I was able to put little ponytails right. and this and the other but then the ponytail that was here was now here because but did I had you spend so much home. time pulling it and then trying to fix it you you kind of learn how to you, make it work with your style as you go as it gets worse and worse and worse. So I never really wore a wig unless I was playing around. But for me, it was wearing turbans and fun things on my head. But on a really hot day, right, and wearing double turbans because one doesn't stay on. And it now just turns into like, ah. you are here helping and educating. Am, so we want to thank yes. you for being thank here you. with thank us today. You. And of course. Good luck this weekend in Dallas. And for more information about Trick or other body focused repetitive behaviors, you can visit their website, www.bfrb.org. Now, coming up, Ivanka Trump steps on her Apple box to defend her dad. Find out what she